Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a Battlefield 3 commentary, but doing one right now. Playing Rush. And uh, this gun I'm on right now, I usually always pop on it on the attacker side to destroy this helicopter. Works every time, they always fly right into it. And I've made some cuts in the video, as you can see right there. You know, you don't need to see me run all the way to that base, so... Just trying to shorten up the match. Uh, right here, I'm completely stupid. I know there's a guy over there. And uh, the thing I've spotted right now is a spawn beacon. So I know he's over there. Right now, I'm going to check it out. I'm still looking around. And I finally see him, so... It's a good thing he was uh, scoped elsewhere. And I'm using the AEK-971. I really enjoy this gun. Right here, I'm an MLG Pro. Not heading directly to him. Gonna flank, take him off through the window. And yeah, I'm just trying to use this building to my advantage. Just playing rope-a-dope around the building. I see he's gonna be coming around, so aim high above the trash cans. Pick him off. And right here I have to reload a bunch of stuff, so I try and retreat back. I don't see that guy, still trying to reload. He gets me while I'm reloading, so. Just got a little overwhelmed right there, a little bit too much shit going on. And yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm outside their base. Trying to prevent them from moving up. Hopefully my teammates will eventually come down the hill. And just kind of looking around the objective. Trying to clean it up a little bit. And I'm assault so I can definitely revive people. I didn't get revived. I, I myself didn't get revived at all in this game which kind of sucks. I mean I got revived a couple times but I wish it could have been more. But yeah, revives are like pretty huge on this map. It's always important to do. And I use smoke grenades too, and instead of two or threes. Right here is a really nice part of the match. Um, right here is my doorway to hell. It's my entrance to hell, so they would be smart not to go through it. I am sitting in this corner. I'm waiting for people to come into my doorway to hell. Eventually. So yeah, I po I post up on I post up in this corner. I see my teammate dies out there, but I'm not gonna go out there and Rambo revive. So I could have revived him, but we'd have probably both died. So right here, can I take your coat, sir? Can I take your coat? <laughs> I'm basically being a door greeter. As soon as they come through the door, I grab them and stab them with my knife. Yeah, it's pretty badass. Can I take your coat, sir? Can I take that coat? Thank you, sir. Have, enjoy your night. But uh, right here, I'm gonna count my I'm gonna count my losses. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead because these two guys are probably coming back for the revenge kill. So I do not want revenge killed. They probably know I'm in the corner, so I'm gonna change up my spot. Keep things fresh. Gonna go up on this roof behind the sandbags. See, I think that guy was coming back for revenge. He was running pretty quickly. And yeah, this assault rifle tears up. I actually used it on uh, Bad Company 1 too. I've used it on Battlefield Bad Company 2 also. Reload's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited for Close Quarters to come out. It's going to be new downloadable content for this game. So should be fun. Should be like kind of similar to this map, where there's like a lot of action, like not a lot of vehicles and stuff. And um, yeah, just kind of hanging out right here. Um, r right there, I should have probably just kept going to the base instead of <laughs> going. But I wanted the knife, so those guys didn't see me, so I could have made it right into the base without even like getting anybody without even being seen so that's a big strategy for me on this game is just to run past people I don't need to kill 
if they don't see me and they're like not by the objective, if they're not standing in my path to the objective, I usually just run right past them. So be smart about who you need to kill in this game because if a guy's in the middle of nowhere, you know, you kill him, he's just going to come back and get you and he's going to be by the objective now when he respawns. So. Uh, right there I was a pretty good driver. I dropped a few of my little ducklings off. I waited till everyone got in. Right here, power slide into the road kill. Pretty badass, need for speed. I don't even know what you want to call it. I'm not really a big fan of driving movies, not a big fan of driving games, but... Do enjoy power sliding. Drop off a few more ducklings right there. I continue to back up. Um, I think about I'm thinking about going high right here, but I end up cutting it back, getting another road kill right there. And yeah, I'm gonna have to ditch this thing soon because it it doesn't take very many bullets and it can get blown up pretty easily. So we were in a pretty bad situation right there, but I don't mind that actually because I enjoy being a pest like that. Basically, I basically when I play video games, I'm like, okay, how can I piss off the other team? Like, how can I be a pest? How can I annoy them? So, I drove in the back of their base. I caused like a big, I caused like a big like rambunction or whatever. I was pretty rambunctious, and they had to come back and deal with me. So it's kind of a distraction and stuff. But yeah, I actually did get knife back there. So it was pretty crazy. There was like a lot of mosh pits of people and stuff. So, well, what can you do? You bound to get knifed on this game. And right there, I accidentally changed the fire rate on my gun somehow. There's just too much shit going on. I just ran into too many people, so. But yeah, more cuts in the video. Right here. Check this out. MLG Pro Aim. Look at that. Look at that Pro Aim. I was all up on him. That was pretty amazing aim. He was right in my red dot sight the whole time. That's some great aiming. I feel like that grenade should have killed the guy, but it didn't even deal that much damage. Oh man, I went from pro aim to like all over the place. I didn't even hit one bullet there. I don't know what happened. There could have been like an earthquake in my living room or whatever, so I don't even know. Yeah, but see, uh, I do enjoy using smoke grenades and stuff. Yeah, my teammate got knifed there. I couldn't save him, but... Oh, right here. I've, I've mentioned that before, but... Uh, if you hit down on the D-pad or whatever it is on PC and Xbox, you can control your fire rate better. I had it set to burst for long range, so... Yeah, I managed to pick off a few people, but... Yeah, I love using these smoke 203s because... If an enemy sees smoke, it can be a distraction, they'll run towards the smoke, so you can smoke up the right side and go left. Or you can uh, smoke up an area and create cover and run through it, because they, the enemy can't see you through the smoke and they're just shooting wild and stuff. So, people can't like snipe through and stuff. But yeah, use cover whenever possible in this game. I see my teammate get knifed again, but I don't know, I revive him, so... He still got knife, but he didn't get the death, I guess. I don't know. I, I sometimes like I decide to knife someone and I just don't shoot them. So I just try and have fun, and sometimes shooting people can be boring. I, uh, I revive a few people there. Yeah, I get my medical efficiency ribbon, my doctrine. Yeah, see, I was like hell bent on knifing that guy, so. I could have probably killed him with my gun, but I just really wanted a knife. And we're at the final two bases here, and this is another rush map where the defenders have a huge advantage. So, I think a lot of the rush maps, the defenders are pretty set. So, it is pretty tough to take these bases. You need a really good team, you need good teamwork. Oh, and I didn't even mention it before, but this guy in my squad, this Lego guy, oh man. He just did outstanding. He was a really great teammate, put up a lot of points, really aggressive. You see he's following me right there, I like. I really like that. I've mentioned before, it's important to like follow someone and stick in the groups and stuff. You know, just, he just has my back right now. 
I'm I'm gonna go up here. Like I pretty much want him to arm the objective, but still following me, making sure I have good health. Oh, and uh, I did a, an MLG Pro kit switch there, so it's important to use a wide variety of guns on this game because when you pick up kits, you're more comfortable using a wide variety of guns. So make sure you use a bunch of different guns. Find the one that works best for you. Get comfortable with a lot of guns. So when you kit switch and pick up enemies guns you're more comfortable since you've used them before but yeah right there I could get a revive but I'm like no I'll just hold the spawn point I'm just gonna hold the spawn point I don't want to risk dying but I will cover this objective right here and uh, Lego guy spawns in again dude's like a total beast I would hold a spawn point for him all day but yeah he like compl he like completely changed the mentality of the game when he joined so yeah, but we did good right here. We managed to take over this right side, so now all we need to do is cross over. We still have to deal with this tank and stuff. But yeah, I get a revive there. <laughs> Didn't see that guy, but I got a quick headshot. And I needed that headshot, because you see I only have 26 bullets left. So, that is not a lot of bullets for someone who likes to kill like me. And I just wasted a whole hell of a lot and didn't even hit, but... I managed to get that guy with my last bullet, as you can tell, zero out of zero, so. I don't know what it is, but if I have one bullet left, I always seem to get a kill with it. I always get a kill with the last bullet, so. If I have one bullet in my gun, just stay away from me, man. Because you're, you're going to die, so. I pick up another kit, MLG Pro. I put down the spawn beacon there. We all spawned on it. I get kills, I'm using this big ass machine gun, 200 bullets, so don't have to worry about running out of bullets with this thing. 200 bullets, huge ass machine gun, I love it, the extended mags. I'm just rushing in. Bam, I just overwhelmed that guy, he just didn't know what to do. Looks like I got it armed right, but no, they had a C4 trap. General Akbar, it's a trap. <laughs> yeah, that's like infamous right there it's a trap but yeah using more smoke grenades right here I see they get it armed I'm hellbent on defending that like good job getting it armed because you see how many people they had camping on it I'm shooting at dead bodies but they already cleaned up and the match is coming to an end here hope you guys liked it I get one final kill I get second place Lego guy gets first place he deserved it though Really great player, really fun playing with him. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Good job, Lego guy, you're the man. Peace out, guys.